Uh, it just give me like a little pose, like you're like an Insta model type thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, like a little pose. Give us a little pose. Yeah, I love that. Work that. It was a video. <laughs> Sorry. So, I'm sure you guys are all aware of this viral trend where people go to the worst and sometimes the best reviewed restaurants. Me being me, I've decided to jump on this bandwagon two months late and go and find the best reviewed Indian restaurant on the planet. So, I decided to hit the Middle East, and in particular Dubai, the king of fancy restaurants. I looked up the highest rated and best reviewed Indian restaurant and I found this little place called Little Miss India. However, before I get into the review of the restaurant, here's a little recap of what we've got up to in Dubai so far. Boys, we're in Dubai. We're going to do something a little different, all right? This is actually our last day. It's not our first day. We're going to give you a little express vlog then we're going to fly home and get back to work because I know I've been, I basically took about 10 years off YouTube. So anyway, this is the bag, guys. This is our hotel. It's a lovely hotel. Look at that view. How banging is that view? All right, it's our seventh day. We arrived there. Let's give you a little recap. Let's see if we sit down and we sit down and sit down. First day or two, we're just kind of chilled. We're finding this private beach at our hotel. And the best thing I've ever came across, a button, yeah? You press this button and Leroy brings you whatever the fuck you want. Incredible. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Then, later on that night, I got spruced up, it was looking good, I went and checked out the Burj Khalifa, tallest building in the world, light show, biggest fountain in the world, got a nice meal, it's decent. Boys, got myself a little chicken cashew, she got herself a crab red curry, looking over the Burj Khalifa, best seats in the house. Desert safari. She's got her little uh, safari girl outfit on. Jeez! <laughs> oh. Let's give it a go, sure. Next up, boys, we're gonna go ride some camels, eat some barbecue, belly dance. That's easy for you. <laughs> funny, very funny. <laughs> Yo, boys, so I went to find the men's toilets, yeah? And I walk in, and there's no urinals, it's just all cubicles, right? So, so I've walked into what I thought was a cubicle. Look at this shit. What the fuck? Like, what? That is outrageous. All right, we're about to get on a camel, boys. We do it, yeah? Just to step on? In last year's um, vlog, I was in Iceland and I was on a horse going through the like ice ice fields in uh, in Iceland. And now we're on a camel going through the desert. Cheers for that, Fred. Thank you very much, Fred. Till next time. Day four, we were fucked off to the desert safari, so we hit the beach and we didn't leave it. Like, just give me like a little pose, like you're like an Insta model type thing. Yeah, yeah, like a little pose. Give us a little pose. 
Yeah, I love that. Work that. that. Uh, 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 it was a video. <laughs> Sorry. All right, boys. So we're currently in the water. It's taking us about five minutes just to edge this deep. So we're going to go for it. It's freezing. Like it's freezing. This, so is, this is the Arabian winter right now. So it's pretty cold. All right. Almost sunglasses. Serious stuff going on right now. <laughs> same day. Before we came to this trip, me and my girlfriend had a bet that I wouldn't get recognized. There's a little club underneath. There it is. This hotel is unreal. By the way, it's got a club underneath it. These absolute Dutch legends won me that bet. <laughs> then, the next day, we had another chill day. So later on that night, we went to the biggest mall in the world, in Seine. It's got an aquarium inside it. We checked out the aquarium. Fuck you for skills, Dave Irwin. I get revenge. Why does that say great white shark? Oh, that's a little bit your dying there. You killed Steve Irwin. That's all right, I did it again. It's all right. What's the squash water? The squash of love. Ready? One, two. Whoa! And then after the aquarium, we found a place called Virtual Reality Theme Park. It's basically an arcade, but everything has um, virtual reality headsets to it. So you could play in like, you could play, you could play, um, back, what's that, Payday, and it had a whole bank, and you ran around with a fucking virtual headset on. Amazing. And then, the final day yesterday, boys, the best day I would say, we went and hopped on a jet ski over at this harbor. We went from the harbor all the way to the Burj Al Arab. Yeah, we then went all the way over here to the Dubai Marina. the Dubai Marina, where Atlantis is, one hour, I've never been on a jet ski like it. Like, it was actually quite scary to put it the whole way, amazing. And then, I'm a big Indian fan, we went and found the number one Indian in Dubai. Right boys, I am a, an Indian connoisseur, alright? I like Indian better than any food on the planet. So I feel like I have the most expert opinion on Indians than anyone you know. Like, I just feel like I know my shit when it comes to Indians. So anyway, I've researched it, I found the highest rated Indian on TripAdvisor, on Google, on Google reviews, on Facebook reviews, Little Miss India, all right? First impressions, lovely. Lovely little, lovely little fountain as you walk in. Very traditional seat. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna try the best Indian in Dubai. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Jeez, look at her. Lovely. Do you realize people clicked this video for you? You were the thumbnail that people wanted. Show them your bake. We all know what the what they clicked the thumbnail for, so. Yeah, go man. So go with those very bakers, there you go, boys. Link in the description. But what's my opinion on the Indian? <sighs> right. So yeah, service impeccable. But this is a problem I got with Dubai. I haven't had like a meaty, tender bit of chicken breast the whole. Everywhere's fucking chickens die and like slimy chicken. So the chicken was like probably good on for people that live here, but it was well, I don't like the chicken. Um, then the curries and stuff. Were, yeah. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna get. I was trying. I was trying to ignore that. I was trying to act like that didn't happen. Now it's a bus game. It's all falling apart. Yeah, overall, I don't have to give it a nit. I feel like you're really in the, in the face here. <laughs> sorry. Um. Uh. Sorry, guys. I've got my girl, friend. Um. 
being a camera woman, it's not working out very well. But yeah, I give it an 8 out of 10. What would you give it? Um, well, to give the service like a 10. What's the, what's the food, don't be honest. Like an 8? Yeah, yeah. A bit like you. <laughs> Doesn't to be a dick. So it's basically taking the piss right now. Basically, I'm saying like that little that little Indian intro that I did did it in one take. I'm a good presenter. I feel like I will make a, a very successful presenter one day in my life. And she was basically trying. She's basically trying to say that that it, it doesn't take any talent to do what I do, and that she could do it in one take. So let's see. Let's see. I think she's waffling. Go on. Right, boys. We are at the best Indian restaurant in Dubai. Yeah. I've searched everywhere. Tripadvisor. Everything. So we've got to go in and see what it's like. Mine was way that's Don't not you? that's not me. So yeah boys, let me know who you think is the better presenter. Woo, woo. What was an HB car was that? And now we're here. We're going home. I've had my holidays boys, I've had my break. Max is back. Let's fucking go.